Good morning. So I did not get a good sleep last night. It was like, <laughs> I just like was dreaming all night and it didn't feel like I was actually asleep, which is really strange. So this morning, I've got a couple hours, I've got to do some uh, editing to some photos. Those designs that we were working on that I'm helping my sister's partner with, we're going to be creating some pendants and some necklace type things on Shapeways. And he's got a lot of cool designs, but they're actual wood carvings that he makes them from. So it's really interesting and they have some meaning that he knows about. And I've just got a whole bunch of the designs now that I've scanned. I've got to modify, turn them into a 3D file, and then put them on Shapeways and open up a store that way. Okay, well, let's get to it. Still kind of raining a little bit. Actually, there might be some weird noises on the mic. But I just came out here on some off-roading trails to talk about Bessie. My 1996 Toyota Tacoma. So I got her about four years ago in a place called Bancroft. Sight unseen. My friend Nate drove me up and I drove it back. It was like the best decision ever. My whole life I've had low vehicles, little cars, things like that. And I decided that it was time to get a truck. And it was the best decision ever. So she is, like I said, a 96 Tacoma, almost 400,000 kilometers, not easy kilometers I bet, 33 inch tires, and I always feel extremely safe in here. This is the safest place for me to be ever. Also I found bug spray in the bed, so just all around providing everything. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna get back, but I just parked in the middle of the river to get a pitcher. And yeah, the picture you saw on the title screen. Hopefully, if not, this is just useless banter of me about to fall in the stream. Okay, here's the plan. I go up over the door, on the hood, jump into the grass there that you can't see. Should be able to get a pitcher. Gotta make sure the truck's all set up first. All right, let's do it. Made it, no wet feet, getting some shots. I don't know why I don't have a remote shutter. Keep meaning to make one. Remind me to make one. Now I gotta go back, I'm leaving the cameras here. Wish me luck. I made it back. Also, the only reason I went off-roading by myself is because I've been on that trail like several times. It's right near a lot of stuff. And probably shouldn't have gone at night also, but that's just the time I chose to go. So yeah. I'm sure people are saying I'm an idiot for going at night. Anyways, I'm safe. And I just saw lightning in the sky. Gotta go hunt down a cool view, because that's where we're going next. Couple of time lapses, but 
I don't know if I caught any lightning. So I guess I'll have to see right now. Okay, that was pretty fun. I almost definitely do not in focus. A real off-roading video at some point. Tonight was just to talk about the truck and I don't know, I've been driving it around. Figured it could use an introduction. Also this giant hole that I don't know if you can see, I'm planning on putting like a Raspberry Pi in there and a screen so I can do a bunch of stuff, but just nerd stuff, you know. Yeah, so that was just a little quick, I didn't do too much off-roading, just like a uh, photo session with the truck in the river. I've been wanting to do that for a while. Didn't get any lightning really, well, I don't know yet. I've probably already showed the time lapses on the vlog. But anyways, yeah, that was fun. Good little adventure. I love this truck. I never feel unsafe in this truck. I said that already, but it is so true. I will take this into a tornado. I always feel safe. Anyways, be good. Good night. Let's go. Check out my little rain hat. <laughs> it works so well. It's not raining that hard though. <laughs>